I'm Ariana. Nice to meet you all. Hi, how you doing? Thank you. So Kevin and Heath, you worked with Keenan and Kel since all that. When did you first Good. notice their chemistry and why do you think they still have this chemistry like 30 years later? Uh, it's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? Right away we noticed it. I mean, you know, even behind the scenes while they're hanging out, they're just laughing all day and, you know, it, it's uh, then you put them in sketches together and it was just magical. Yeah, they. I mean, we worked with a pretty phenomenal cast all around on all that season one. And they, uh, the chemistry between the two of them especially was just incredible. And you could just see them constantly elevating the material. We would say they make our job easy because, you know, we write stuff, it's funny, but we know that they're going to make it even funnier. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen the show, but they used to do these two characters called Mavis and Clavis, and they play these two old men. And they would just riff off each other and laugh. And they used to do that even like at lunch. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't. And so yeah, they would do then that the next thing you know, too. we're doing Keenan and Kel's show with them, and they're just taking, you know, to uh, new levels. And... Yeah, speaking of Keenan and Kel, and I even heard you guys mention the like the orange VHS tape. And yeah. why do you think people are still to this day so obsessed with 90s Nickelodeon and Good Burger, and how did all of you kind of keep that essence in the second movie? Well, it was a good time back then, and it was, you know, I mean, it was really uh, innocent, fun time. It was innocent, but I think it was also a little bit of, like, from a creative perspective, a little bit of Wild West. I think Nickelodeon uh, was taking a lot of chances. It was fresh, and it was new, and it was exciting, and I think uh, they were successful, like, we've been successful because it didn't talk down to the audience you know we didn't there weren't these uh ham-fisted morals at the end of every tale it was just crazy chaotic fun that felt maybe a little dangerous maybe you were getting away with a little something when you were watching it um you know and, and i think that's why it still resonates today yeah so the first movie was a bit of a commentary on genetically modified food to increase profits. And this one is kind of a I'm nod so at humans over profits in terms of automation, which a lot of companies are trying to do now. Yes. Why is it kind of important to actually have that social commentary in each movie? Mm. Well, I think wow. it certainly adds a little depth to the film. I mean, it, it I think what makes the tale worth telling, it's, it's more than just strung together sketches right it, it, we know we're gonna come up with hilarious set pieces oh this is gonna be funny how do we get kel into this situation we're gonna get that in the script but you need to have a good through story and and for us i think the scathing subversive social commentary just kind of came naturally you know when we were breaking the tale yeah you need a base of something right don't you to like they, there's genuine emotion in it as well. Like there's a real friend. It feels like there's a real friendship, you know, that's at stake. So then on top of that, you can be as silly as you want, but you know, yeah. really, really silly. Yes. Uh, speaking of it still being grounded, there's a lot of cameos from the movie, whether it's from All That Days, SNL, <clears throat> uh, Phil, even some of your um, drunk, um, single drunk female caster in the movie. So how did you? have enough cameos in there but not feel cameo heavy that's like oh whoever called was just going to walk into set and like it wasn't going to be a story well we did create one section where we could fit as many people as we could like when they did that uh song the, <laughs> it's like a we are the world kind of thing so that really helped and uh you yeah, know we want to make sure we wrote a couple sequences that could accommodate if people showed up <laughs> You know, yeah. we can get them into the movie. But yeah, we also didn't want it to be a distraction from the film. So we wrote parts and oh. then you cast them with phenomenal people. And also people just wanted to be part of it and didn't need their parts to be sort of to overtake the movie. It was like if Gronk is on set, doesn't have to become the Gronk show or all of a sudden. Yeah. He just has one line sitting at a thing and he's like incidental to the scene, but he's like excited mm -hmm. to be there. And so it didn't. So the cameos are, are sort of softer like that in terms of their impact. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of mentioned um, a possibility of a third movie, but it's Kel in there character. Is? Oh. It's what? <laughs> um, do you guys think that's possible? And will yeah. they, do we not have to wait 26 years for that to be possible? Well, <laughs> put it this way, Hopefully. anything's possible that we're making. We're, not, we're making a Good Burger 2 27 years later, so anything's possible. Yes. yes. 
And what knots were important for you from the first movie? And even there's a Keenan and Kel Easter egg that you wanted, like, oh, if you watched the first movie and you were around then, that you would be able to pick it up. Like, what's one of your favorite Easter eggs? Uh, wow. Well, I, I actually like the uh, cameo of Josh Server and how we incorporated him into the movie. I, I just thought that was such a ridiculous yeah. idea that we came up with that I was like, I want to make sure this stays in the film. That that cracks me up every time I think about it. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. I mean, it's great. Everything sort of elevated, like, emulate, you know, the Burgermobile is, there was one and now it's bigger and better. Yeah. Like, smashed I mean, up and then, the, the, and then smashed up again and then back and driving. And, for me, that they're just talking about orange soda. I mean, it's a completely different. It's not even in them. It's not even it's good, not burger. good burger. It's, it's Keenan and Kel, Kel, but just, yeah. But yeah. yeah. And if you Dan is back. But thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. I'm very excited for it. I already seen. I'm excited for every experience, oh. and I can't wait to talk to you guys about future projects. Great, awesome. Nice talking, talking to you. you. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you.